This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, ain't nothing but the righteous and the holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. Oh, this train is built for speed now, this train. This train is built for speed now, this train. This train is built for speed now, fastest train that you ever did see now. This train is built for speed now, this train. Oh, this train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, this train. This train is bound for glory, ain't nothing but a righteous and a holy. This train is bound for glory, this train. Praise God. Let's stand and have a word of prayer. Dear God, Lord Jesus, we ask that your Holy Spirit be upon this service here tonight. I ask God to bless the singers, Lord God. And Lord Jesus, dear God, that you just have your very will with each and every one here tonight. But, oh, Lord, I ask you to touch the people in their homes. I ask you, God, that you'll, your convicting Holy Spirit will touch souls tonight that to be Lord God, that you'll save their souls tonight, that they'll be willing to accept you. And dear God, I ask you, Lord, to bless the ones that's here. Bless Roland Anders as he speaks tonight, that your Holy Spirit be upon yes, him in Jesus. a great and powerful way. In the name of Jesus, dear God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Chaplain Bob. Another opening prayer, another service right here at Highway Tabernacle, 395 and 7th, where we record live. Saturday evening from 6 to 8, so be with us. Come down and, and be part of our program. Be the, in a live audience. We're the good news, brothers. The good news is Jesus will never come off the throne. He'll always be there, so right. just trust right. him. All right, glory to God. Brother Les Lawrence yeah. from Word of Faith on the base. Good to see you. Hallelujah. And let's start off the program with Brother Baker. What you got? All right, a gentleman came up to me tonight and said, would you please play the song about the hand? I said, well, which one do you mean? Yes, sir. 140, if you have your books. Yes. And you don't have your books, so. Did Dave Walker have a book over there? Put your hand in the hand of the man who's still the water. Put your hand in the hand of the man who calm the sea. Make a the part where a carpenter cleared the temple oh yeah for the buyers and the sellers were no different fellas the one I profess to be and it causes me shame to know I'm not the man that I should be so put your hand in the hand of the man still the water oh yeah put your hand in the hand of the man calm the old
Put your hand in the hand of Jesus. Thank yes. you, Lord. Reminds me of that picture where the fingers are reaching down, touching like that, where Jesus is reaching down. That picture by one of the famous artists. That's right. Just instead of touching just the finger, grab Jesus' hand and said, help me. In fact, Roland's going to talk about that tonight, right, Roland? I got a song, too, we're going to do about that. But anyway, I better not get too excited here. They'll shut you down. Well, it's Les's turn. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you follow that? Uh, well, you remember what the blood's all about. That's what you do. I'd like to do that in Galatians. Yeah. I believe that's what I do it in. Well, would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. There's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Yes, there's power, power, wonder-working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Come on, praise the Lord, there are us. Jesus, your King. There's power in the blood. There's power in the blood. Would you live daily His praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. Yes, there's power, power, wonder-working power in the blood. Glory to God. And we have a, another Dave Walker here. Always uh, helps us out when we need help, short of singers, and uh, does a great job, Brother Dave Walker. Always had a little word for us, too. What's on your heart tonight, Brother Dave? God bless each and every one of you. It's good to be here. We'll do Amazing Grace and do that. Connie out there, yeah. yeah. What, what gear do we do that in? Uh, Unless you want to change it. Amazing Grace and G. G, yeah, sure. Yeah. Delicious. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me.
when we been there ten thousand years bright shining as the sun where no less days to sing God's praise than when we Everybody sing, praise God, now it's your turn. Praise God, 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 praise God. God bless the Dickinson family. Don't forget to pray for Bobby Lee and his yeah. wife Marilyn and their and their family, Dickinsons. God bless them in their loss. And the Lord's gain. God bless the children. Amen. Glory to God. Key of Ephesians, everybody. Yes. Somebody said I haven't done this in a long time, but I have. Anyway, there's a gal over at the restaurant at Andy who said, I like the way you guys do that Imagine song. Would you do it some more? All righty. Let's do it. Connie wanted to hear it. Make her tailbone feel better. <laughs> all right. I said that right on the air. Oh, no. That's all right. The truth hurts. I we mean, no, get, it's healed. Excuse me. It doesn't hurt. It we healed. might get censored. Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, Connie uh, hurt her tailbone, so be praying for her. All right. I can only imagine what it will be like to be standing Jesus by your side. I can only imagine That's right. what my eyes will see when your face is before me I can only imagine Surrounded by your glory
Jenny's memorial today, and she doesn't have to imagine anymore, does she? No. Whoa. Wow. That's She's wonderful. there. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Let's do one more song, Les, before Roland comes up right. and gives the word. Well, I guess the only way to do that is uh, get through life like that is to make sure that uh, you and Jesus have something going on. That's the only way, by the blood of Jesus. So I'd like to do me and Jesus in Corinthians. And Jesus got our own thing going. Yes, me and Jesus, so we got it all worked out. Me and Jesus got our own thing going. We won't need anybody to tell us what it's all about. I know a man who wants for the sinner. Yes, I know a man who wants with a drunk. No man who wants a loser He went out one day and made an altar out of stone Me and Jesus got our own thing going Yes, me and Jesus, we got it all worked out Me and Jesus got our own thing going We won't need anybody to tell us what it's all about Oh, it all. 
don't need any fancy church. We don't need any fancy singers. You know, Jesus got a lot of poor people out doing his work. Me and Jesus got our own thing going. Yes, me and Jesus, we got it all worked out. to tell us what it's all about. We won't need anybody to tell us what it's all about. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Aha, uh -huh, that's right. Amen. Time for the preaching. Reverend Roland Andrews. Come on, brother. Break the word. He's got a fresh word. He's been praying to the Lord, and uh, God gave him a word. Take it away, brother. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. It's an exciting time that we're living in today. Hallelujah. I thank God for Jesus who causes us to triumph through our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to God. It's not a hard thing, but it's a good thing. It's a consistent thing. Serving the Lord, he's good. And for some of you out there, before I get going here, I just want to say, God, have your way in your servant today. Continuously to bless this precious ministry, the work that they're doing in the prisons and uh, for all of those that are watching we can do it for you if you'll just come in and there's nothing you can't uh, you can get everything you need done right here or deliverance whatever you need you can get it here and that's what the business we're in and if you uh, don't think not come we'll show you different anyway I'm Reverend Roland Andrews and I've been uh, I want to tell you what your your little offerings have done you want to use a question, I, you know, being prophetically, there's a question with most of you out there concerning this ministry, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to answer it for you tonight. You're wondering about uh, supporting it. Is it. Does it really work? Well, I'm living proof that it works. Over 20, about 19 years I've been with the Lord. I don't know what backslide mean or none of that. I met Bob in and out of the prison. That's, he's he ministered to me in prison, so it's been a good thing. And I'm one of the ones that came out and uh, went all the way in the ministry, went, to, went through all the prisons and got to be volunteer of the year. Unheard of that an ex-inmate ever been a volunteer of the year. That's history right there by itself. Only through the shed blood of Jesus that these kind of things are possible. And uh, yes, it works. Yes, it helps. And hallelujah. It, yeah, that's right. And this ministry has been helping you. Some of you are sitting there, you ought to be in here now supporting it hallelujah and I mean if you got a problem uh, praising and shouting while we're in there having a good time then you don't want to go to heaven because that's all they're doing night and day <laughs> praise God <laughs> but we want you to know we love you and you're precious to this our Lord and Savior you're precious to him but he wants you to get from that place you're in get out of your comfort zone we're called to uh, we all have a call. God has anointed us all to do something in the kingdom. Uh, we can share what God has done, a testimony or something. And so God needs you all. You can come down here and help and volunteer and do something in here. Uh, but anyway, we want to get on here and share a couple of things I want to share with you before I get into my little message real quick to let you know that uh, this ministry does uh, work. Uh, I've been going in and I'm in it because I like signs and wonders. I, I come out of that era and I'm going to stick with it. And I want to tell you that I've seen inmates in that prison, if it hadn't have been for Russ and Ken and myself going into some of them, we've seen God do things. We've seen a 19-year-old boy get saved in there. He's a ganger. And uh, he got, I want to say this before I get going, and I'm going to show you what your, your, what your bucks are doing if you're supporting this minister. I was ministering in uh, Coyote Ridge one time and called a guy up. He got saved at 19, a gang member, bitter, anger, hate all in him and everything, 19. And we led him to the Lord in there that night, hallelujah. And uh, I called him out, and he got saved, and he come back the next week and said, Preacher, I heard you uh, saying when I came up for prayer requests that there was, uh, my prayer was trivial, real little to God. Would you pray that I can get my mama, see my mama? I've never seen her. I mean, over 10 years she'd be gone. We don't know where she's at. I said, well, I thought you was going to ask something hard. He said, that ain't hard. I said, it's certainly not with the God I serve. Again, I want to remind you, he can do anything but fail. If he can part the Red Sea for the Israelite to get over on the side 
on the other side, certainly he can do that same thing in our lives when it takes a supernatural Red Sea miracle for us to go where we didn't think we could go into him. So anyway, we prayed for him, and uh, he come uh, that Monday. We come back in the following next Monday, and he met us at the door. He said, I got a testimony. I'm sure you remember that. And he said, uh, uh, I got a testimony, and Russ or Ken or one of them said, well, go ahead, and you got a few minutes, give it. And he said, well, he prayed for me, and, and uh, he said, uh, Mon that Monday you prayed for us, that two Wednesdays uh, they called me, they count, my name was announced on a loudspeaker, my number, and then called my name, and he said, before I got saved, I was terrible, and when they called my name, I was nervous all the way in, and the devil was beating him up real bad, and he said, when he got to the counselor's office, he was talking to somebody, and he was beckoning, and he thought, oh boy, here they go, they're gonna call the superintendent in, and I'm out of here. But that wasn't the case. He handed him a telephone, and guess who was on the other line? Somebody he hadn't seen in 10 years since he was nine years old. It was his mama through the miracle working power of the Savior, nail scarred hands, reached out and did a supernatural intervention, the same kind he did with each one of us when he saved us. It took that to get there, hallelujah. He's still in the same business. He hasn't changed one bit. And was he excited? His mama was on in and a big miracle was. He says, mama, that's you? And she said, that it is. He said, where in the world do you live? She said, at such and such. She said, that's just a block away from where I've been living 10 years. See how God can do something right in the same neighborhood and had no idea. But God knew, and there was a such timing, a set timing for that to be brought to pass. Had not we have been obedient, had not Day Spring Ministry, hadn't have been going to Coward Ridge, that never would have happened. For some of you that had a question about them, uh, you know, contributions you've been sending in, well, that's the testimony for you to know. I could give you a thousand that it works. And it goes in and plant a seed, somebody else uh, water it, and the precious Jesus, our Lord, gives the increase like he did in our lives. Somebody else planted a seed with us, somebody else watered it, and those nail-scarred hands stretched out and do what he can only do brought an increase through us amazing isn't it and that's what I come to tell you about if you want to have the blessings of the Lord on your life he wants you to be obedient and we're living in a time now that we're going to need God 24 sevens he told me to tell you before I read this scripture that you're going to have to get out of your boat. It's time to get out of your boat. It's not about this denomination, this, that, and all. It's about what this book says. The only thing that's going to make the difference is what this says. Not what they say, but what he says makes the difference out here. I've learned to trust him. I've been in some tough places, and I asked him two times. One time I said, oh, God, can you change the trial? He said, no, it's the one I set for you. I said, well, you're going to have to walk me through it. And when I saw them one set of foot.